Hi, my name is Robert from New Era Designs. Today's tutorial is going to be how to create this service page for the Alfie WordPress theme. Um, all you do is you go to your admin panel, create a new page, call it services. You then call it services on the page title. Give it some text because after all, you've got the text there and then services. I'm sorry if I'm talking a bit uh, quiet, my throat's a little bit sore today. <laughs> but anyway, we go to a page layout. I'm going to give this a pad bottom 60. In the last tutorial, I to uh, told you where you can find all them um, padding classes and everything. So please uh, take a look on how to create the about page. And you'll see where you can get them all from. But anyway, we're going to create a row. So we're going to be uh, splitting this into three sections. We'll then get a third width. And now, what I generally tend to do is just copy and paste it three times. That way, you know where you are. Anyway, the first one's going to be web design and we're going to do this as a small title just give me a title and then we're going to add an image so I'm going to add three but I'm actually going to only upload one so there's one I'm going to turn off that because I don't need it press insert but what <coughs> Sorry, but what I will do is give it a smooth effect which gives you the rounded corners. So at the moment it's square. So you go to CSS class, smooth image. Just type in smooth image or one word. Once that's done, I just want to make sure that we look properly then. Yeah, looks fine. So when that's finished, Underneath, there's just some bump text which I'll uh, copy and paste and just put in. We uh, basically do it the same. So it's basic, oops, sorry, not basic, uh, graphic design. We'll go to title, small. Underneath it, we'll add one of the images. Don't particularly want a link. That's okay. Again, click on the image, click on the edit icon, and then just type in on the CSS class, smooth image, update. After that, stick some text in, do it one more time. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what it was. Internet marketing. Internet marketing. So again, small title underneath it, add an image. Last but not least, marketing. I don't want to link it. Click on it. Add your um, smooth image class. And then just add some text at the bottom. So if I publish that, go to menus, and we'll add the services page in. And then we'll go and have a look what this looks like. So go to services. There you go. Exactly how the demo looks. The next section is going to be. Uh, adding these uh, progressive bars so we'll go back to the page services scroll right to the bottom and right under the roof we don't need to start a new page title uh, page layout because it's all the same color as you can tell um, so we'll start a new row it's a new row now I'll give this a uh, class of pad 
50. Just gives you a bit of padding at the top so it just looks a bit more symmetrical. And then within there, I'm going to add a, add a general title called Our Quality. So it's general title, and then for the subtitle, what we have to offer. Underneath there, I'm going to start adding a progressive, progressive bars. So find progressive bars, click on it. We're going to put in web design percentage of 90. We're going to have inverse for a color. We're not going to have stripes and we're not going to make it active. And then we'll do that a few more times. Progressive bar, web development, 95, no, oh, I forgot to put it as inverse. So find the green, just type inverse. Progressive bar. This one I think was graphic design. And we'll put that as 85% inverse. We don't want it striped and we don't want it moving. Right, the next one's internet marketing. So internet marketing. We'll give that 100% because I like to think I'm decent at it. Inverse, no, and then no. I'll show you what the active and everything is when we do short coding on one of the tutorials. But anyway, or you can just play about with it and you'll find out yourself. So we've got uh, social media, even though that's similar to marketing. Percentage of 90. Inverse. No, and then no. Now this section is actually done now. So if I update, go to the demo, update it, there's our quality. Right, the next section is our uh, visit <coughs> what our clients think. Now, we've done this already before, but I'll show you how to do it again. So we'll start a new layout. And this one's going to be the white version with a pad bottom 40. Again, you don't have to do all this uh, with a pad bottom and stuff like that. It just makes it look a lot better, makes it look more symmetrical. Um, and then from there, I'm going to add some testimonials. So, short codes, find testimonial slider, gives you a load of bump. Let me just separate this so you can see. And I'm putting text in, etc. So anyway, the rest is testimonial name here. Just start putting a name, John Doe, Joe Smith. Hello, do to you. You get the idea. Uh, now it asks you for the company name of the person, so we're going to call this UBL Designs. And We'll call it Brain Info Tech. All right, we'll put John Doe thinks this theme is brilliant. And this one, I'll just leave testimony goes here so you can see that it's different. Now, where it says image goes here, you can see it's an image. So Put it in. I don't like linking. You can leave the link in. I just don't like linking. So next up, another image where it says image. And then update. And there's your slider. John Day thinks the theme is brill. I mean obviously. The more text, the better it looks. <laughs> um, last but not least, it's the clients. So, the way you do that, we'll make a new uh, page layout.
And this time I'm not going to add a class. I'll do a general title. Yeah, I'll do it this one first, just see what it's like. Subtitle, just copy and paste, cut, copy and paste some stuff. And in there, we'll put in our latest clients. Now, go to short codes, client show. Now within the brackets here, you can open them up so you can see what it looks like. But within this section, insert some Legos. So insert, update, and now you have some clients. That's uh, that concludes this tutorial. Um, the next tutorial will be how to create the team page, and we'll even put in a couple of team members.